Welcome to TwinSec. In today's video, we will uncover how to deck vulnerability using Wazo, a powerful open source security platform. We will define vulnerability, explore CVE and CVSS standards, and look at how Wazo leverage its vulnerability database. Let's get started. So, what are vulnerabilities? Imagine your house as a system. Now think about leaving a window open or forgetting to lock the front door. This small oversight can make your house vulnerable to thieves. In the same way, systems, application, and networks can have weakness for open doors that attackers can exploit to break in. In cybersecurity, we call this weakness vulnerability. They could be due to bugs in the software, outdated programs, or even incorrect configuration. For example, an unpatched operating system is like that open window which give attackers a way in. Vulnerability matters because attackers can use them to steal sensitive information, take control of system, or disrupt service entirely. That's why detecting and fixing vulnerability is a critical part of keeping your infrastructure secure. In this video, we'll explore how Wazo can automate this detection process and make your system much harder to break into. Now that we understand what vulnerabilities are, let's talk about how they're identified and prioritized. First, we have CVE, which stands for Common Vulnerability and Exposure. Think of it as a global data set that assigns unique identifier to know vulnerability, accompanied with a date. By using CVE, security teams can talk about vulnerability using a common language, avoiding confusion. But how do we know which vulnerability to prioritize? That's where CVSS come in, which is the common vulnerability scoring system. It's assigned a score from 0 to 9 to measure how severe a vulnerability is. For instance, a score of 9.8 means the vulnerability is critical and needs urgent attention. Together, CVE and CVSS provide both a name and severity level, helping organizations respond to vulnerability efficiently. Now, that we understand vulnerability, let's see how Wazo detects them. First, Wazo continuously collects system inventory, including installed software and was version. It then compares this data with its internal vulnerability database, which is regularly updated from external sources like the National Vulnerability Database. If Wazo needs a match, it generates an alert with details such as the TVE ID affected software, and CVSS severity score. But how does Wazo keep its database updated? By default, Wazo fetches the latest vulnerability from the internet automatically. However, for organization without internet access, there's offline mode, where updates must be downloaded manually and transferred to Wazo. This flexibility ensures that Wazo can operate in different environment while keeping system secure. To detect vulnerability using Wazo, we first need to enable the vulnerability detector model. This allows Wazo to fetch CVE data from multiple sources, such as the National Vulnerability Database. For online setup, Wazo automatically updates its vulnerability feeds. However, if your environment is offline, you can manually download and import CVE data. Once everything is configured, we can run a manual vulnerability scan and analyze the result. This helps security team identify and mitigate risk quickly, keeping system secure. So in this tutorial, we will show uh, we will using Guazo dashboard. We have the IP address, and we have the agent is running on the same IP address, which is uh, my personal laptop. Uh, and the next step, we will access to the server using SSH. So we have the Wazoo server. We have the login and the password, and we get into the terminal. In order to modify the vulnerability detection, we have to configure the OSEC.conf located in the bar OSEC, etc OSEC.conf. So, we move to the location, 
we have to access uh, first as sudo so our location will be bar one sec etc we have here osec.com5 and we will be using nano for editing so we will search for the vulnerability detection model this configuration 5 so there it is it's already exists and enabled so we will add only some new lines to this model so we have the timing the interval will be about five minutes Next one is minimum full scan. Maybe six hours. Sorry, mean minimum full scan interval. We close this one. And the last one to add. It allow us when each time the, the Vazo manager restart, it will be enabled. So it is yes. Run on start. We have to save. And the last step, step will be restarting. We have to check first uh, if there's any problem of all save it. All clear in here. Last. We will restart the server. Stctl restart on the manager. So we have a little error here. That's mean we we do not configure or there is typos. So we get back to the configuration file. So I have to check interval. Mean full scan. Oops, there's interval. It's written with double L. Uh, the rest, I think, it's okay. So we have to save and restart again. So make same time. And here it is. It's all done. So we return to our platform, our dashboard. So we get to the endpoint. And we looking for the vulnerability detection. And here we are. We have all the vulnerability detection, the CV, um, the score, the severity. We have here all the inventory. Uh, we have the Node.js, which is have vulnerability. 
Severity as high. We have the vulnerability ID. We can look at Google. And we have the National Institute of Standard and Technology, which detail all the things. In today's video, we covered the essential topic of vulnerability detection using WASA. We discussed what vulnerability are, how to assess their severity using CVSS, and how WASA can help you detect and manage them. Remember, regular vulnerability scan, timely patching, and continuously monitoring are the foundation of strong cybersecurity. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to GreenSec for more cybersecurity tips and tutorials. Feel free to leave your question or suggestion in the command and share this video with others who can benefit from it. Thank you.